I look did. good. Yours I look did. good. Just snip you. And that sexiest man alive thing. You man. knew it was going to be you or me. You knew. The night before, you were probably thinking, O'Brien's oh, good. I cheated, though. I put another $100,000 into my campaign just the night before. Just the night before. Cosmetic. Yeah. You I think did. my hair frightens them, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what did it. I think it's, it looks like next year. Are you next just looking at my winter. hair right now? Next you look, year's winter. You look stunned looking at my hair right now. <laughs> it, is, it is an amazing hair, time, isn't it? Incredible. Incredible. It's like candy. It's like a big cake I baked and put on my head. <laughs> But enough about me. We'll get to me later, I hope, and talk a lot about me. <laughs> I want to talk about you. You've got some exciting uh, news, stuff yeah. going on in your personal life. You just got a nice life, piece man. of information. What yes, was this? I did. My oldest brother, 51. His name is Rooster. Uh, Pardon um, me, his name is what? His name, he was he's, born Michael, but he's been Rooster since he was... He's Rooster. 18 years old, because no matter what time he goes to sleep, he's always up at the crack of dawn. Right. Anyway, what happened? He is, um... Why not call him Crack? <laughs> It's the other reason, because his hair is kind of like yours. Oh, really? He's a tall rooster. You're out of here. That's uh, a fact. Well, Rooster, anyway, that's kind of a, hey, Rooster, that's a cool rooster. name. Rooster. So um, he has a son from his first marriage, Madison, who is mm -hmm. my nephew, mm -hmm. who's 31. Mm -hmm. So I've been an uncle since I was, I guess, uh, five. Mm -hmm. And he just had his uh, second child. Oh, it was a baby cool. boy, 7.7 pound baby boy. And guess what he named him? What? Miller Light McConaughey. <laughs> yeah. Miller Lite. That's going to be a healthy kid there. Yeah, He's gonna that's a, a humor. That kid's going to be laid back. <laughs> if, you, if, if, if your uh, brother doesn't get some free Miller Lite out of this. <laughs> wow, yeah, Miller yeah. Lite McC that's a, McConaughey. Yeah, that's a cool. And is, is, is he just a fan of Miller Lite, your, your brother? He's, he's a, yes, he's. <laughs> 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 Even before, I mean, I imagine, even before yeah. naming his kid uh, Miller Lite, he should have been receiving uh, gratis Miller Lite. Um, right, right. No, uh, he, yeah, he is a fan of Miller Lite. Do you think they'll end up calling him <laughs> Miller Lite or, hey, Miller Lite, get over here? He, he changed, he goes, but I made the middle name L-Y-T-E just so he could trick the teachers a little bit. Right, right. Miller Lite, McConaughey, right. yeah. The teacher's not even gonna let him into the class. <laughs> That's gonna be a good storyteller. But will he be? Mil he'll probably be Mill or something like that. No, or... no, no. I think hey, six it's pack. gonna be. Hey, mi yeah, that stuff's oh, gonna come. Yeah. There's the first there one, Mill. Like, there you go. Six, I five. love this. Hey, Case, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. I was Miller Conan. Light. I got the crap beat out of me. I'd have rather been Miller Light. Um, now you, you know, this is something I. You've been on the show a bunch of times, and I've bumped into a few events, and I have to say, you're. And I like this about you a lot. You're one of the more sort of laid back guys I know that's, that's in this business. And, and it's not an act, you really are, you're very centered, you know, and you have a nice philosophy of life. Is that not Just true? Just keep living. Just, yeah. you, what is your philosophy? Just keep living. Just keep living. JK living, the J is for just, the K is for keep. You know? no, I, Stay alive. No, I got it, I didn't need that. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to spell it for me. Uh, but just keep living, that's, that's setting expectations so low, like just, just stay alive. <laughs> so you got to start right there, baby. Right, that's you nice. Got, you still got to be uh, pretty jazzed about getting out of bed in the morning, sure. being glad there's another day out there. Right, and right. it also something happened right as my father passed away in 1992. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was learning how to deal with that, with his, with his uh, moving on. Right, right. Which is a reason why I look at him moving on instead of him dying. It was right, like, you know, right. you just keep living. Now the body went down, but the man's still here. Right. Um, and in that way, I mean, it's a verb. Right. It's, uh, uh, it's about, yeah, taking a day at a time, but having the big picture in mind. It's, uh, it's about and instead of or. It's about uh, uh, rights instead of rules. It's uh, give a direction, but you can take the exits, you know? <laughs> um, so it's just, it's sort of a compass is what it's been for me, and I'm able to apply it to most everything I do. And when I'm doing my best, I'm adhering to that compass. Now, well, this is interesting because, you know, do you, like, you say you apply this to your everyday life, yeah. but does it, like, what's your schedule look like? Does it, is it, you know, does it say, <laughs> you know, nine, you, cause you gotta go to meetings and stuff like yeah, that? Do you try and put in other stuff that reminds you to just keep living? Yeah, 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 yeah. And those meetings are part of that too. Right. Cause you know, if you don't do your work, then the next day after a while, you don't have any money and life's kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But, right. but you, I do, I'm a big list maker. I am a bis, I love buck slips, right? So right. I, my favorite thing to do on buck slips is mark out what right. I've done. Right. And I, and I, and I believe 
that I know it's helped with my happiness in life is you put the big stuff on there. You got the meeting. You, you got, got the meeting to at nine. The script. You've right. got to read, break this down, sit down with the acting coach, but also put down the things like have a beer. Um, <laughs> you know. Um, uh -huh. yeah. um, Call your girlfriend. Right. Um, t if, you know, t t take take a walk. Uh, uh, make some coffee. Right. Put extra cream in it. Right. <laughs> Put little Inhale. So you can exhale. Yeah. Inhale. <laughs> and exhale. Does, then you, you can, can be checking off all the time. I was thinking like I, I knocked off 32 <laughs> things today, man. And you go, look at this. Look what I've accomplished. Man. 900 things I accomplished. <laughs> you know. Wow. Good for you. Yeah. This is nice though. You're living it, and uh, you know what's interesting to me. You you know you because you're. You share this sort of enthusiasm for life in, in everything you do. I know you're a big sports fan. You're a football yeah. fan. Yeah. Didn't you go back to your old alma mater and you, when they were up for the championship game, what's that? What are you University doing? University of Texas Longhorns. Oh, yes. Yes. So I thought yes, you were. I... <laughs> it's like a swear in Finland. Uh, <laughs> no, I just made that up. Uh, but you went back to the University of Texas for when their big game. Oh, <laughs> okay, now it's getting dirty. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you went back and you gave an inspirational speech when they were about to play the championship game. Well, actually, the championship game, uh, they were ready for that, the Rose Bowl. Right. Um, that, that game, I just wanted to look in the guy's eyes. I'm sorry, to get them to that game, yeah. yeah. great, but the, the, uh, the Big 12 championship, I went back there to practice, and Coach Mac Brown and I had talked about it, and I was like, you know, at the beginning of the year, he said the goal of the team was to win the Big 12 championship. Right. And we knew then if they won that game, they would then go play probably USC in the national championship. And I was like, you know, you got to... You got to get the goal if you want to live the dream. And he loved that. So he took that and talked a lot about it. And then I talked to some of the kids about it. And um, yeah, that's another. It would have been funny. Yeah, but it would have been funny you know? if you'd gone in there and they were all like ready for this big inspirational go out there, win one for the gift. And you went, hey, man, just keep living. <laughs> They're like, what? That you win, work. you lose, right, left, what it all means, you know. And, <laughs> and the coach is like, get out of here. They just, they just said, they just said, uh, Losing sucks and losing <laughs> hurts, so that's not living right. So let's go ahead and win. That's better living. Yeah. I believe so. But um, this team at the national championship didn't need to hear right. anything from me. Right. They were there. They were ready. Um, like I said, all I wanted to do then was look in their eyes, and they had a great sober look in their eyes, man, that they were like, we're not just happy to be here, man. Yeah. Watch what we do today. And they did go do it. Right, right. They could see the victory beforehand. All right, now let's let's talk about this. We have Failure to Launch. This yeah. is the new movie. This is you, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. And uh, it's an interesting idea. You're a guy who is, I believe, in the, in the movie, you're a 35-year-old guy who refuses to leave the house. Yeah. You're, you're still living with your parents. Yeah. And she's hired. She's hired. I know people like this. Uh, <laughs> this was me until like two years ago. Uh, <laughs> but you, so Sarah Jessica Parker, I guess, is hired by your parents in the movie to uh, to talk you or, or to to get her to fall for her, and then I fall for her. She says, "Come on, let's move out." I go, and she says, "Bye bye." Right, right. So then I'm out of the house. She's supposed she to lure you out of the house. Right. Yeah. No, it's a funny idea for film. I'm on to her after a while. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't go that smoothly. No, it wouldn't goodness. be a movie if it went that no, smoothly. Really. That's not how movies work. Let's try this plan, and it worked perfectly. The end. We could run more films a day, though. Sure, yeah. Could be real 60 short films film. a day. <laughs>